Now, in this question is asking increasing order of the reactivity of the following compounds for SN1 substitution is. Now, we know that in SN1 reaction, the formation of carbocations takes place. So, what we can do, we can remove chlorine and place the positive charge to form the carbocation and then we can compare the stability of the carbocation. Better is the carbocation or you can say that the stable is the carbocation, more it will go towards the SN1 reaction. So, let us start with the first one. The solution, the first one is this compound, remove chlorine, you will get CS3 CH CS3 CH2 plus. This is the first one, but it is the primary carbocation, it is not so stable. The second one will be CS3 and when Cl will go out, positive charge will be there. There is one carbon atom here. So, it is also the primary carbocation. The third one is it is benzyl chloride having OCS3 group. So, we can draw it like this. CH2 plus O CS3. Now, this is very stable because this is resonance stabilized with benzene and one more thing here this oxygen will give its electron by positive mesomeric effect. So, it makes this carbocation very very stable right. And the next one, the fourth one is it is benzyl chloride and nothing is attached. So, it will be the benzyl carbocation after the removal of chlorine. This will also be the resonance stabilized, but the third one will be more stable than the fourth one. So, third one is more stable than the first one and if we compare these four carbocations, our answer will be the third one. So, the final answer is option number 3, right. Let us move on to the next question. Now, in this question is asking which of the following potential energy diagram represent SN1 reaction. We know that SN1 reaction takes place in two steps and the first step is the rate determining step or you can say that that is the slowest step. And if it is the slowest step, it should have more activation energy than the second one. So, let us compare in the first one, the potential energy of both the steps are same. This cannot be the SN1. Third one is showing a single step reaction. It is not the answer and if we see the fourth one, now in the fourth one you can clearly see that the potential energy of the intermediate of the first step is more than that of the second step. That is why fourth is the correct answer. So, the answer of this question is option number 4, right. Let us move on to the next question. Now, in this question, he is asking molar depression constant of a solvent is 4 means Kf is given to us and that is equal to 4 Kelvin kg per mole. The depression in the freezing point of the solvent 0 0.03 mole per kg, molality is given to us 0.03. Three, solution of K2SO4 is, there are the four options and he is saying that assume complete dissociation of the electrolyte. Let us start solving the question. So, 
the solution is when K2SO4 will dissolve in water, it will give us twice K plus plus SO4 2 minus, right? Now, since it is completely dissociating, that's why it will have the Venta factor is equal to 3. If we talk about the depression in freezing point, delta Tf, it will be equal to I into Kf into M. And what is I? I is 3 and Kf is given in the question and that is equal to 4. So, it is equal to 4 multiplied by M is the molality that is also given to us and that is equal to 0 0.03. So, it is 0 0.03 and it is equal to 0 0.36. So, Kelvin. So, this is the correct answer and if we see the options, here it is. Answer of this question is option number 1, right? Let us move on to the next question.